Okay, to calculate the statistics that you will need for a proportions hypothesis test uh, using the stats calculator, here's what you would do. So first, um, you'll, when you're doing a hypothesis test, you want to go into the tests submenu. So you just hover over the test submenu and uh, that should bring up a menu that you can choose uh, an option. And the option that you're going to look for here is the z-test of a proportion. Now in the calculator that's called one prop z-test, uh, so you can kind of see the similarities here. Test of course meaning a hypothesis test, prop, proportion, that means the same thing. Uh, if it's just a z-test of a single proportion, that's what this one is. Um, this would be comparing two separate proportions, which we don't actually do in this class. So this is the one we need. Now, when you come into the interface here, the options are very much the same as what you would find in the hypothesis test uh, function in the calculator. So the first item is the value of the uh, population proportion from the null hypothesis. So let's say we have a hypo hypothetical problem which 87% of a population have some uh, or favor some event, all right? Now, the next item is from your alternative hypothesis. It'll either have a not equals sign, a less than sign, or a greater than sign. And the importance there is that it tells the calculator if you're using a two-tailed test, a left-tailed test, or a right-tailed test. And that indicates how the probability p-value will actually be computed. So uh, let's just assume it's not equals. x and n, these are the uh, values from your sample. n, of course, is your sample size, so I'll just make something up to you. So let's just say 825. And then x is the number of items that favor your event from the sample, and I'll just choose 747 here. Now, when you press calculate, it will come up with the output here. Uh, it comes up with a few different things. P hat is the first one. And that's literally just if you had taken 747 divided by 825. That gives you the value of P hat. All right, and then Z. Uh, Z is your test statistic. And so uh, that might be something that you need for a problem, uh, 3.0 three to two decimals. And then P is your uh, P value for the hypothesis test. So you probably always need that. Um, maybe from time to time you need both of these two, but um, one of those is the value that you're looking for. And that's all there is to it.